Okay, everyone, and welcome back to my DDLC Let's Play. Yes, I'm probably, I mean, considering I have been making these videos in public, I'm kind of commercializing this idea, but the uh, main focus of this LP is still to inform my good old friend over, over on Discord to know how this game works. And I didn't get to this in the last video, but a new file has once again been added, and it's this little thing right here. A whole bunch of eyes. No, not eyes. The, the, the letter. The, the letter I. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. Oh, oh. Oh, hang on. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Because I like them? Because I'm a normal human being and I like their personality? I ever thought of that? I mean, you're basically killing people just so that I can... Anyway... Let's just dive right back in, shall we? Back into the crazy world. Let's see what kind of opening message we get. Please let it be new. No, come on, still? Come on, dude. Don't do me like that, Danny boy. And as you can see, the game is still majorly fucked up. This is basically your main indicator that we're still in Act 2, is, is this thing right here. So let's just continue onward. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm, let me refresh myself. This has been a while. Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. You're just dusted sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd start with Hannah. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book. Left, left off. Left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. So now we've only got two choices. Natsuki and Monica. Now I know that this dirty bitch probably wants me to talk to her first, so... Screw it, let's give her the pleasure. Hi again, Alex. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. I think we've... I wouldn't count on that. Yeah, I think we've done this. Sure, here we go. Give up on to Monica. Alright. Great job, Alex. I was still wound in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I don't know why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I've put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Now, remember, I wrote my poem for Natsuki. Natsuki. I made- I chose every single word, almost every single word for Natsuki, and yet the poem still turned out to be for Yuri. Why? Monica, why- why do you want me to be with Yuri? I thought you wanted me to be with you. I... Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spent so much fun and time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming out a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our problems with each other. <laughs> Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad you took on the time you needed. Alright, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Yeah, this is... this is different. Save me. The colors, they won't... this is the same title, it's just different again. Bright, be... Cut, mm. Flash, mm, expect, mm, uh, piercing, uh, I can't, did you like die halfway through writing this? Red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop! Stop! Violent, grating, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry for that, that's just, that's supposed to say waveforms. Squeaking! 
<laughs> Screech, mm. piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a morning. <laughs> like playing a knife in a breathing rip cage. Okay, sure. This. Boom. <laughs> the leader. Oh my God, that's that's foreshadowing. Um. Then? Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to... Um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway. Now, take notice. Take notice it's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. Long as tip of the day. Now, this sets up like our usual saving thing, but... But... Look at that! She doesn't know what to say anymore. You never know when... Um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Um. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yeah, no, this just shows that. Oh, um. Not see then. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Dude, I wrote it for you! I literally wrote it for you! I wrote every single word I dedic in it, I dedicated to you! What the fuck? Why are you throwing me under the bus like that? Look, I know it's because the game is now programmed to have me go on the Yuri route for some reason. I know why you do that. I'd rather see with Natsuki, but okay. This is the text that you get, I think, in Act 1 as well, when you first write for Natsuki, then decide to write for Yuri. Even though I never did that. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I'd be completely pissed. Well, I guess if I wanted to try something a little different this time. Oh shit, my battery's running low. Fair enough, you still need to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I know that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. I'll probably be able to learn something from it. Alright, if you write your poem for Natsuki, you get this lovely little... Thing. Now this is not just random noise. This is what this meant to be at least is base 64. This is code. If you translate this, it actually turns out to be a legible poem, which I can't do right now because I don't have like the, the digital version of this poem on hand right now, but I it is it is translatable. I don't know what happens when we click away. Can I Oh god, I forgot about this. Okay, so this is what happens when you choose to write your Natsuki, uh, your Natsuki, write your poem, your Natsuki for your poem. Now, this is what, uh, <laughs> this is what happens if you decide to write your poem for Natsuki at the beginning of Act 1, uh, of Act 2. If you do Yuri, something else might happen, but this is basically what's gonna happen. This is a specific Natsuki scene. Alex, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri's a sick freak. That should be obvious by now, and I should see the music's fucking up. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Alex, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to make... Do you want to make me go home crying? Oh dear god, what kind of hell have I entered into? The club is the only place I feel safe. That's actually true, actually. That's... I mean, her home life isn't too great, but I mean... Uh... Alright, Natsuki! Have you done anything with, with with your face? Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Now, if you're scared, I'm, I'm just gonna say something. You might... You might not like what's coming out, but... It, uh... Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me! Oh god, look at that. Look at that smile. Look at that bright smile! <laughs> Hi. And... Psych! Here we are, back in line. <laughs> That's essentially considered to be Natsuki's ending in a way, because an end screen happens right after it. Don't worry, she's fine. She's absolutely fine, she didn't just completely her neck snap. She's fine, okay? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Your smile takes a deep breath. I'm like just holding it. Uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything if I use a treasure. <laughs> I came out a little awkward. Uh, let's move on. 
it's a poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Okay, this one's a bit creepy. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning turning an axle. Griming. Bolt head. Linear gearbox. What's the battery left doing? Like, Okay, cool. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A, a torn harness. <laughs> Parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer with it written in blood, a, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all things, all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding, of exploding stars, God is disproving the existence of God. A gills ro a, a gill a wheel is rotating in six dimensions, forty go or forty gears in a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscape of blood written in written in clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of forty gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Uh, um. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I have to take it out on your pen. Uh, uh, that, that is, uh, a pen full of, fell out of your backpack yesterday. So, so I took it home for safekeeping and I totally fucked myself with it. I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. I totally didn't play with myself about using that pen. So I wrote this poem with it. Uh, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation ever happened? You can keep the poem now. Okay then. Sure. A dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there was nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke and everyone laughed. I woke up to- this is not a poem. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on the TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. So yeah, this is basically the concept of waking up of a uh, sound in your dream being a sound from real life. And the, oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to pay attention to that later, in case you haven't already noticed there's something going on with my cursor. But uh, anyway, um, that thing was all based on the concept of sounds from real life bleeding into your dreams and the line between reality and dreams sometimes being really blurry. That's actually really scary. And now I'm going to draw attention to, to this, as if the game didn't want to taunt me enough already. In case you can't really make out who that is, that is... that is Sayori. <laughs> that is the face of Sayori from the menu screen, currently functioning as my cursor. Great. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's problems, right? Uh, it's, it's back to normal, okay. We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. At the festival, sort of, do we have to do something? Something like to get anything good, just end up embarrassing ourselves. Concern of mind, I don't deal with last minute preparations. I know everyone's been a little more lively since I like joined and we started since some club activities, but this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still have we still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's a great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. That's key. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling that things that brought you here in the first place? The Legend Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. Yeah, she's trying to go back to that speech. That's why we should work work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Alex? Uh, oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Alex to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? You ain't never even talked until, you, until Alex joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Alex isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our, our opinions for once. 
I'm drifting really far away from Act 1. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Alex would get more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club? It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here is not the same way as I did? That doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Alex, why did you even join the club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? She's trying to play the victim card. In case you don't know it, this is not Monica actually being sympathetic, though. I guess, sort of, maybe. If you look at it in a weird way, but... Honestly, this is just Monica trying to guilt trip us into liking her, because of course. Yeah, no, she's directly communicating with us. Like, us, the player, not Alex. As you can see, he's gotten less and less input ever since Act 1 ended. He's talked a lot less. He still says a few things here and there, but as, the act two, as Act 2 goes on... Which it is actually, it's actually close to ending at this point. Um, eventually, I will just stop talking entirely. Like, it's literally just the girls talking. Just the girls. Nothing else. Alex doesn't get to say a damn thing. And especially in Act 3, where basically his input is entirely removed. I have done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is that crime, to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, I have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. I don't understand at all. I just, I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Alex, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Unless she starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki? Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a different, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, God. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I'm not going to some quiet the club is right now, especially because Natsuki isn't here. She's totally putting on an act, by the way. Yuri's totally putting on an act. She may or may not... Well, I guess I can't say it with absolute certainty. She may or may not be putting on an act, but I mean, it's clear that she's kind of obsessed with us. The, the, the MC, Alex, not me. She doesn't know about that. But, I mean, yeah. She's just fucking glad that Natsuki's gone, so. I'm mean, just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to do my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh! Uh, Oh, Jesus Christ, what is this? I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make decisions that's right for the club. What well, about you, Alex? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along, and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the larger club a special place. I see. I kind of see it that way, too, honestly. That's kind of... The quality of each member, even if it's not a whole lot, is a lot more important than the quantity. Quality over quantity. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change of members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright? Well, maybe we can all take the Natsuki tomorrow. Your nods. Hey, Yuri? Huh? I know things were a little, awkward, a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. Monica. Now we don't even do, like, the, the practice. You know, like, um, the, uh, everyone getting up on stage and reciting their poems. We don't even do that. We just skip straight past it. This is Thursday, I believe. Tomorrow's Friday. The day where Sayori was supposed to leave, but that's not happening anymore. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay, I look forward to it. Shall we go, Alex? Um, 
Uh, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Alex before we leave, uh, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me, as president. It's a little trouble, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as your ex in the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Alex, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. It feels kind of I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. If you didn't notice it already, things are staticking up. Yeah, there you go. I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Without me not skis and everything. That no, she's just doing a sales pitch for herself. And you're being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Hint, hint. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. She's, she's literally just giving a sales pitch right now. She's literally just trying to sell herself to me at this point. Okay, oh I'm trying to... Wait. Please don't tell me it's three. Please don't tell me that's... It's three! Oh my god, I gotta call it... I gotta call it under here! This thing's about to die! Okay, so... I'm going to get through this. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! No! And fade to black, we get back to the poems. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save right now because my phone is about to die and I do not want to lose this. So, save? Yes? Okay? I'll see you later. I hope I hope we can charge my phone up a bit. Also, this phone segment is likely gonna get weird. So see ya. See you next video.